Fitness is Kenneth Espy Unboxing. Visit the web at www.espyunboxing.com. Right behind me, Robert Gosarero is taking on Camera Guy, which is the main event after a long list of fights that happens tonight. Um, Robert Guerrero fighting all 12 rounds. Um, war going back to back, just blow for blow um, between Camera Guy and Robert Guerrero. I give a lot of credit to Camera Guy. He's real unorthodox. Real, it's not crafty whatsoever. He's just pressing forward, pressing forward, flat, straight punching bag. In the very beginning, after the first round, I thought in my eyes, I was just like, man, Robert Guerrero is going to walk through this guy. This guy's a straight punching bag. But he's a brick wall. That guy's taking everything Robert Guerrero's having, but Camel Guy's actually fighting his fight. You know, Robert Guerrero, um, he didn't set the pace of the fight whatsoever. It's a straight. Um, I just finished right now. It's a. It's a it's a phone booth fight. They're literally just head to toe, pressing forward, just locked up, going toe to toe. Um, Robert's dad's a fucking trip. In the corner, he's sitting there telling him straight up, like, you got to close the right, you got to beat this fucking guy's ass, whatever. But I agree with Paulie. Paulie, you know, um, Robert made a mistake and he, he should have set the tone of the fight. Uh, later on, the second half of the fight, it was kind of hard for him to make, a, make an adjustment um, and listen to his father work the jab, work the jab, work the jab. Um, I think he should have kept his distance and, and, and didn't fight Camel Guy's fight. You know, his eyes all busted up, his cut. Um, Robert, Robert, all that cross training and stuff, what he's done, he really didn't show me anything different. Um, I, I have Robert winning this fight. Um, I have him up by four rounds, but Camel Guy, he, he definitely, uh, well, actually, not four rounds. I gave pretty damn near all the rounds to Robert. Um, but Camel Guy was actually landing some some big shots as well so you see robert's face robert was taking you know he was giving and what he was taking a lot of a lot of punishment as well he was, he was taking a little bit too much punishment um camera guy you know robert he took everything that robert gave him and more um but we'll see what the judges scorecards have to say um but you know like i said you know coming off a, a year layoff um f from mayweather losing to mayweather um Coming into this fight, I know it was a tune-up fight. Um, I see um, a lot of people in the stands. A lot of people, you know, Sean Porter's in the stands. So they're, they're even talking about Sean Porter, possibly Sean Porter versus Robert Guerrero. Um, you know, he can't fight Porter. You know, Guerrero's a hell of a fighter, but he can't take the same approach that he did against Saint Sean Porter. You know, I wanted to see Robert Ghost Guerrero come back. And, and show a little bit, be a little bit more versatile as a fighter, be more of a complete fighter instead of a you know phone booth fight with a, a no namer. So, wait for the score, judge's scorecard right now. Robert Guerrero. Um, that was a clean judge's scorecard right there. I, I seen the fight the same, pretty much the same way. Um, but anyways, guys, this is Kenneth that's being boxing. What's next to Robert Ghost Guerrero? Who knows? Um, I would like to see him fight Keith Thurman. I would like to see him fight um, a Sean Porter. Um, he, he possibly a, a Timothy Bradley, one of those fighters. But anyways, guys, uh, Kenneth that's being boxing. From request, subscribe. I'm getting tired. Um, I'm calling night. Um, have a good one.